Um, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some Citadel Forge with Fire. It is I, Reaper the Mage. The Wizard. The Wizard, Hedy. I am a wizard. Okay, that's cringy. <laughs> anyway, where last we let you guys probably thought I wasn't coming back. I'm here. This game is cool. Damn it. And you're going to watch it because I said so. I'm just kidding. Please watch if you want to. Anyway. For those of you that don't know, Citadel Forge with Fire is a survival game with magic and all kinds of cool animals and dragons and some taming and a building system it's like like Ark in a lot of ways, but like several other games and so on. Anyway, very cool game. I actually played it when it came out back in 2019 and put about 140 hours in and got caught up in everything else and left. But uh, you know what? I wanted to play. The game is full released. Uh, they added an expansion DLC, a map and stuff, or... Like another... I don't know, they added a bigger map. Anyway. Yeah. Back into it. Alright, so. It's got quest. Not like super in-depth, but it does have some quest. Upper right-hand corner. Ex craft the extract spell. I will say that the, the uh, gathering in this game, once you get... Obviously, you can pick shit up off the ground. But once you get, like, what I'm about to do, a gathering in this game is probably my favorite in any game, any survival game I've ever played. On how because of how it functions I love it I'll show you but I did figure out I couldn't figure out the last time you start out with base arcane as magic so like I can like you craft spells essentially so if I want to craft this right here um, what is that highlight over it it should tell me there we go arcane storm um, haste arcane step Basically, you scroll the mouse wheel, and whatever weapon you have is what is basically that spell is on. So, like, I'm like I'm using that wand. If I change the wand, there's my... Like, I have the axe on, but I have the arcane... Or that haste spell on that. So, if I scroll to my wand, and that's in my hand, then I have that spell right there, which looks super dope. Okay, so if I go to my staff right there my staff of the forest i can craft a spell so this this spell will work when that's in my hand to do that and this is what i couldn't figure out before i actually had to look it up um you get essences light essence nature essence so i'll show you here basically to change this is what i couldn't figure out you have to click that and then you can add as many of these as you want i don't know if it adds to the power i think it does but it can add to and then boom now we have Geyser, Roots of Wrath, Bark Skin, and Extract. And we want to cast that. Now I can click here to choose to put it on my left click or right click while this staff is active. So we'll put it left click and crack. Boom. Now if I want to, oh, it only took one of them. Okay. Now if I want to, I can do this again. Add spell. Okay. Now we got Geyser. Roots of Wrath, Bark Skin. Now, I recommend doing this. Click that, right click, craft, and now we have, with that staff in our hands, we have that, which is like a defensive spell, or this. Now, it doesn't do anything right now. Okay? But if I change that, see, it changes the spell. Now, that's still active, too, as long as that, that buff that I put on, you can swap between them. It's very cool the way it works. And I can also go to this with the axe on. And we got some haste going on. So we're going to go hand this bad boy in. And the question mark's up in the compass. I like that. And these spells last a while, too. Like, they have... They're not just, like, two seconds. And then we scroll back, and we're back to our staff. So we'll hand this in. Mm -hmm. Okay, our reward is Solomon's Wand and a Light Essence. And 150 XP. And we can get some more. Mm -hmm. And there are, this is the, one of the three starter areas, but there are, scattered out throughout the world, there are other quests. Okay, so we got to extract 25 wood. That's our goal here. We grab that quest. And we'll swap out to that, and we'll do this. So yeah, it's super neat. I'm, I'm not even joking. I had a shit ton of fun with this game. Again, I left just, and there is a night and day cycle. Um, it's got the color scheme at first. When I first started playing, I was like, oh my god, it's kind of washed out. Uh, 
But no, there's a bubble over that. And the starter areas always have sort of a weird washed out sort of look to them. I think. I don't know that's how to describe it. But the game itself looks really good. Um, also, to, oh, oh, what do we got? Um, sorry, I'm threatening out a little bit. I, I should maybe turn the sensitivity down on the mouse, but I don't know. I like having it pretty sensitive because maybe I will turn it down just a scotch. Um, there is no tab targeting. That's another thing I really liked about the game. There's no tab targeting. Um, where's it at? Game. Sensitivity. Yeah, there's no tab targeting. Um, it's all, like, you, you, you aim and point. I'll show you here. Like, you just saw my little circle there. Where's that at? Right there. Now watch. Wait, how did I get... Oh, okay. I had bark skin on that. Oh, okay. Must have just stayed. Where's that pig? Watch. Where's he at? Where are you at, you little bastard? Where'd he go? Um, I don't know, but I don't think I can gamma up, so... But nighttime looks cool anyway, and I think it's getting kind of dusk out, but... Yeah, the color scheme, there's a lot of vibrant colors in this game, which I actually really like. Here we go. We can take this pig. This has good range on it, by the way. And we hold that bad boy down. You can just hold down left click and go ham. And as long as you got mana. And yes, I have delete. I rebind everything. You guys know how I am. As long as you got mana. And it will recover it, uh, by itself. If you notice, though, too, on the down here, I have RT. G and F. I have food on that. So right here and over here, um, I can like put uh these are in crafting ingredients, various ones, cloth, and yeah, the, the usual stuff. You know, and then we got you can go that's all. Um we have milk, we you can drink straight to get mana back. It says consume to add five health, ten mana, blah blah blah, and it also gives you a small buff. Um but yeah, I like this food, I can remove that. And, or hot bar, and that puts it down here. And if you notice, when I eat it, boom, I get a lot of a lot of mana back. At least at low level. And there are different tiers of food. I hear another pig. But swapping out weapons, super quick and easy. I love it. Like right here. Uh, I am playing on an official server. Um... Now, there are different official servers that have different... Uh, there are two different kinds, essentially. There are fa very fast or normal. I think I don't think there's, like, just a fast. As far as, like, the rates go. I prefer to play on normal, so this is a normal server for rates. I don't want to level too quick. I don't want it all going too crazy. By the way, when you level up, you do get skill points that you can put into things. I'll show you that then once we level. But we got to gather 25 or... 25 wood using extract so and the 49 out of 25 it does tell me because I do have that on me but I didn't use this to get it now watch this this I actually I actually love this I kill that pig here in a sec sorry I do smoke little mini cigars so you, you might hear me lighten them now and again i had somebody say to me once reaper do you smoke because it kind of sounds like you're smoking I'm like matter of fact i do sorry <laughs> i mean if that offends somebody i don't know i'm i'm 53 which is no excuse i wish i didn't started when i was like 15 but anyway don't smoke kids or anybody anyway watch this and here's what that's i love that okay i do now i can use the axe to and just swing it. Actually, okay, because I have the uh, haste spell on my left click, the right click has to be empty to utilize the weapon. Now I can just chop it by hand. But now, what I don't like is you gotta, you can't hold it down. You have to tap. But I think they probably didn't give a shit about that because once you get this, where's it at? Right here, which is fucking awesome. This you can hold down. You see on the left-hand side, we're getting wood. We're collecting. In fact, we're done. Spell. The uh, quest is done. We got our 25. Um, there is a weight limit, which... And we're bottom, by the way, is our... You can barely see it, but you can see the XP down there. I need. I have 321 out of 1,400. Um, 
pretty yeah well, there is weight we're carrying 16 out of 50 that can be raised where's that pig we're gonna go up in this quest in we're gonna kill a couple of piggies first notice i can highlight over them yeah this has good range by the way i i've done some really cool things like i because you can take there oh shit oh damn okay never mind we get in trouble, we just do that, which is super cool. And that will last, by the way, while I have this on. Come here, pig. Things will follow you, not necessarily forever, though. There are not a lot of fucking pigs. They wanted to beat my ass. Come here. Four. I'm almost out of mana. Got you. And I will eat to help restore my mana. And we're gonna go hand this in. There is an auto run. Thank you, create the creators. Any game that has a big map should have auto run. There's no excuse for it. Ark, I've said it before, said it in the last video. I've said it a million times probably. Ark should have a fucking auto run. The game's too big. The maps are, there's too many maps, too big. It's, it's like I said, any game that has you traveling long distances should have auto run. But no. I'm sure there are mods. Of course there are. I never look. Um, I have obviously played regular or uh, modded servers. I've ran my own so many times I can't even tell you. But you know, anyway, I like the auto run feature because right now it's on. Anyway, so we're gonna hand this in. Huh? We're gonna get our wood and our five ingots for our reward, and we're gonna see what else we got. This is a great mm -hmm. way to level. Um, steam vegetable, and we will run through these tutorials, and you can read it if you want. I guess I didn't skip it. Build a fire. That I'm not sure how to do. Um, crafting. I really actually don't know how to do this. Uh. You know what? Maybe I should be paying attention to the goddamn quest. Uh, I want to say there's a quest log. Can I retalk to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. The fire pit, like, I definitely should be reading these. The fire pit, like other items of knowledge, requires points to unlock. Only at, once unlocked, there is a special build menu that can be accessed easily within the appropriate binding. Once the menu is blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, there I get it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you do not. Okay. So, let's see here. Am I losing my mind? Oh, okay, I had that up. Okay, so we want to find my talent points here. Not that, not it. Knowledge. Um, build. Alchemy, utility, crafting, fire pit. I have nine points available. They're right there. So I have to click this. Never mind. I already have it open, I think. I do. Place floor to create a cooking pit. Okay, so we need a floor. That's that. Okay, wood floor pack. Did I, I already have this open, right? Yeah. Oh no, I gotta right click it. I'm an idiot. Okay, so right click. There's a lot of right clicking in this game. Um, the, what is that? Forge. All right, so we did that. Okay, now. Ah, now we break, hit B. By the way, I think that's the default key. And then you can scroll down through them. And then, as you can see, it says left click. Then it brings that up. You can scroll through that with the mouse wheel. And then, boom. And then, and another thing I love, too, is it doesn't take a lot of really, like, intense materials. Like, a wood floor just takes wood, as you can see. And then we just hit escape to close all that. So, we got to get out of here. And we can't build that here. Here's our map. I'm going to go find a nice little spot next to the lake, I think. 
I, I like to build, by the way, the near, um, the, like, camps. Like, these are enemy camps, and they do respawn, so they're great for farming. Um, and that is a natural acid pool, and so on, so we're gonna... Oh, and yeah, oh look, there's a quest down here, and a quest over here. And the Fog of War on the map's not opened up yet, so... Which I really like that it has. So we're gonna go down here. Um, and I'm gonna build this. I'm telling you guys, check this out on Steam. It is $39.99. Um, but it's not an early access game. It is a full game, and it's very cool. I think it's very reasonably priced. I, di I didn't pay that for it. I got it back in early access. Um, but nonetheless, I would pay 40 bucks for the game. Um, Server-wise, they're like ARC. I think they hold 70 to 100 people. They're like ARC servers. So, you know. And, uh... We can get our rune crystals, which you use in a lot of crafting. We get XP for doing this. On servers that are very fast, and there are a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, Now, I don't think this works for everything. Like, stuff that you have to pick up. Like, uh, like I can't harvest that. Like, I have to pick those up. But they're just a tap, so that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, these are handy. These crystals. But, uh... But yeah, the servers are, you know, they're like ARC servers, you know, they're gonna anywhere from 70 to 100 people, I think. The game definitely deserves more recognition than it has gotten, in my opinion. But, you know, whatever. There's a tree. Can I get this mushroom? And it won't let you even press it, by the way, if you can't harvest. Like, it won't do anything. You can see me click it, but it won't do it. But, like, I can harvest that stump. And I can just scroll wheel to kill this boar because you get a one metal. Get off me. That's one of my favorite spells, by the way. Loop. Thank you. And I should be able to build down here, I think. Well, this is a nice little scenic area. There we go. Region limit zero of twenty thousand, server limit forty thousand out of two hundred and fifty thousand. So that there is a limit. So not a lot I guess no one has anything built in this area. And the server has a total of forty thousand at Foundations built? So it might not be a super populated server. Um, but they did add a big chunk of the map, and I've never, ever, ever seen that part. The, that other new, They added a new map like it was an expansion. Uh, I think there's a way to follow this? Oh, I'm out of materials. Oh, look at that. I made the jump. Alright, so now we want to craft Go to magic, left click. That's not it. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Right click, by the way, to escape back to that. Oh, I do need stone, which I do have, thank God. And we're going to make our fire pit. Boom, quest done. Uh, you can put a bed down for a respawn point and all that good stuff. Hit escape to get out of that. And let's see. We do got to go back to hand our quest in. There is a way to teleport, but you need a teleporter, I think, you can make. Um, so. But yeah, guys, so I'm going to call that one there. Um, I'm, I want to keep these short, but I am going to almost definitely jump right back into this to, to another episode because I want to keep playing. By the way, you can see there it has the, like, stuff can be, this is a PvE server, but just like in Ark, things do decay. That's, I think that's my biggest issue with playing official servers. 
especially on multiple games, is that I have to really stay on top of it. Like, if I, like, especially at Ark, I have bases on three different servers. And then playing multiple games that have multiple... Now, there's no server transferring on this. It's just one map. But, you know, either way, multiple games where you got to keep logging in and not mess or not lose your shit can be tedious. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call that one there. And uh, hope you're enjoying it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I am going to jump into another episode here quick. Also, uh, you know, keep an eye on my Smite videos if you're interested. Uh... And, uh, you know, I do have some ARC stuff. I have another... Actually, no. I do have a small decay that I'm picking, that I'm hopefully going to get something. It's just cryos. Compliments of one of, of uh, one of my subscribers, King Mikey. Thank you. I did find the base. And uh, if, you're, if you're watching this, and hopefully I get a couple of cryos out of it. They did pound a bunch of dinos around them. But anyway, I will see you in the next episode of Citadel. Forge of Fire, so take it easy.